block type A or intruder block will have all its sides white and will be placed randomly in the grid. Dimensions of this block is 100 mm x 100 mm x 100 mm. Block type B or key has 5 sides painted black and 1 side white. This block will be placed in common zone such that its white face is towards the floor. Dimensions are 100 mm x 100 mm x 100 mm. Block type C or bottom half assembly block forms the lower part of assembly. It has a square pole in the center of it to facilitate bonding of the cube that is to be made. This block is completely black except one side, that is white. This block will be placed in common zone such that its white face is towards the floor. Block type D or upper half assembly block forms the upper part of assembly. A square hole with side very near to that a pole in type C will be present at center in type D to properly form the assembly. It is completely black and is present in the common zone. Dummy blocks are placed at the two positions in the transfer zone, where assembly block and key block are not to be placed by manual bot. One of them is identical to assembly block and other one is identical to key block. All the blocks are made of non-magnetic material and will have a maximum weight of 60 grams. Block adjusters facilitates the placement of blocks by manual bot in the transfer zone. The manual bot will start from manual starting point and then drop the autonomous bot in the autonomous landing zone. This is the first checkpoint if the autonomous bot successfully crosses the first intersection of the two white lines that is complete bot has crossed the intersection. Now, the manual bot cannot proceed to the next task until the autonomous bot keeps the intruder block in the intruder transfer zone. The autonomous bot after solving the grid by following the white line and avoiding the nodes carries the intruder block from a location on the grid to the intruder transfer zone. The manual bot will pick up the intruder block and place it in the intruder deposit zone located in the common zone. Then the manual bot will pick up the key block from the common zone and place it in the key transfer zone. The exact position where key block should be deposited by the manual bot will be declared just before the dry run in the form of indicators. After this the autonomous bot will put the key block at the key unlocking zone therby unlocking the secured zone. After unlocking the secured zone the autonomous bot will return to the transfer zone. Simultaneously the manual bot will assemble the two broken parts that is type C and type D blocks to form an assembly kept one upon another at the transfer zone of Q. Assembly can be made either at the common zone or at Q transfer zone. When the cube is ready at the transfer zone by manual bot, the autonomous bot will deposit the cube at the securing point. 100 more points will be granted for completing the task. The teams are given 3 restarts each for every autonomous bot and the manual bot. If the team opts for a restart before first checkpoint then it has to start all over again from the manual starting point. If the autonomous bot opts for a restart, then all the blocks will be restored at locations as per the checkpoint chosen by the team, and autonomous bot will be placed in the autonomous dropping zone. After manual bot has successfully unloaded the autonomous bot, it can take a separate restart from manual starting point. If manual bot asks for a restart during a task the block will be placed at the previous position. Minus 25 points for crossing a node. Minus 35 points if the team wants to restart between placement of autonomous bot in the autonomous landing zone and before autonomous bot has crossed the white line. Minus 25 points every time the autonomous bot enters the manual zone. Minus 25 points every time any part of the manual bot crosses the first white line adjacent to the transfer zone.